I balance the scale. I balance the scale. Scale. Libra, 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 Libra. What's going on, Libra? Let's do your reading. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you guys back. Let's get started in your reading. All right. see some cutting out here. Ah, keep coming on threes. Third party situation already. <laughs> I'm looking to draw it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ten of swords in reverse. So Libra, you don't want something to end? Somebody that you really, really care about? All right, let's go. All right. And your purse's energy. Three of cups. So you mean to tell me this person likes to go out a lot, party a lot, hang out with friends a lot, drink a lot, party a lot, popularity, all that stuff. Third party, hang out with other people. You know how that makes somebody feel? When they don't make time for you? Makes you feel like royal shit. And that's what this person does every time they go out and party with their friends. But we're gonna get, we're gonna clarify that because the reason why I say that is when they do that, they don't be messaging you. Hmm. This card when it's in the reverse is not a good card. It talks about unfaithful in your relationship, pulling back your love, negative shit attached to this card here, all right? Person broke your heart pretty much with her in and out bullshit, a night. So we're gonna clarify the Three of Cups. <laughs> All right, we got here. All right. So this person was a manipulator. They manipulated the fact that they were giving you attention. And they manipulated the fact that they wanted a long-term connection. And some of you guys may be married with this person. Some of you guys may have kids with this person. You got Sagittarius here, you got Gemini here, and I got uh, Taurus here. All right? But uh, this person was wearing a false mask because we see here that what they were showing you is that they're all about you. But they're manipulative while they were doing it with their three of party bullshit. All right? Hmm. Let's clarify this uh, Knight of Cups. So there was a relationship with you, right? They like keeping tabs on you, but they weren't happy. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Taurus here or a Leo. So I still, I kind of get like, some of you guys were in a relationship or y'all guys were married. Because the Hierophant here was here and under the deck. Oh yeah, we have the Empress here. Okay, Empress and the Hierophant. Okay, yeah. And this card here came out like twice. Them being in and out of your life, not cherishing the connection, third party shit. A lot of nights you spin at the house while this person's out here living it up. 
<laughs> okay. What else can you tell me about this person here? Clarify the 10. Judgment. Hmm. So this person, you know, doesn't have anxiety about the situation. How could they? They're always out partying out with their peoples, getting fucked up, right? Getting attention elsewhere. But they come home to you and they treat you unfairly. Okay. What else can you tell me about this person? This person's a manipulator, man. person is uh, unstable. So I'm getting that, you know, this person loses a lot of money over their third party, over going out a lot or seeing other people or whatever the hell they do. Um, it definitely isn't moving them in a direction that's being positive towards this relationship. It's actually screwing it up. You know what I mean? And they don't... It's like they're losing money over this shit. They're losing their stability going out here, trying to be victorious out here in these streets, but at the end of the day, that three of cups there, and the, um, the king of pentacles, they losing money over this shit. So it's taking money out the household with all their shit they're doing. Out of the relationship. I feel with this energy here, I feel a kind of a fucking sneaky ass energy, especially with this moon in the background. This this particular Queen of Cups here is kind of sneaky. Look at the face. <gasps> they try to play like they're all, oh, I'm just chilling. Oh, I'm just, you know, hanging out, you know, relaxing. But like, you know, when you're chilling with them, who are they chasing in them woods? Why are they going out in the middle of the night? What's up with that? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more. <laughs> that shit went, that shit flipped and did it. It came up right and it went, it flipped upside down. Person is unbalanced. Person doesn't bring balance to the situation, but they still be in a relationship with you. But they don't bring balance. You could be doing a Sagittarius here. They don't bring balance to the situation. Actually, it just makes everything just stay stagnant. It doesn't move forward with this person. But you have the Ten of Pentacles. You're like, I really want you. I really want this to work. You know, I, I saw this as a beautiful family. I wanted this to grow. I wanted this relationship to be worth it. And we make wealth together and we grow together. Clarify that. Yeah, this person was very is very, very immature to energy. We have Aries energy here. Um I feel like you want this person to change their ways. Stop making you feel left out. Because you want the Nine of Cups and you want the Ten of Pentacles. You want a happy family, happy situation. You don't understand why this person keeps doing what they're doing to you. You're being patient. You really want this to work. Right? But this person's not giving you no equal give and take. No, no signs of improvement. And matter of fact, with this in the reverse, these motherfuckers are losing money. Probably missing payments on things. They need you to cover the slack. Gossiping and all this shit. People knowing about y'all business. Sloppy. The fool in reverse is very fucking sloppy. Sloppy toppy. <laughs> this person is open to these people that they give to and the neglecting you 
But then they still expect for you to come back and chase them. Come back and still be with them. What's this person's future actions towards you? Oh my gosh. Something's going to be revealed to you. It could be this tarot reading that reveals something to you. Secrets are revealed. The moon card upright. <gasps> about their... About their fucking people they have. Or the fact is that it's just not working. There's too much conflict going on with y'all. Or you find out there's other people in the mix. Other people that they go hang out with. Through your spine, you're going to find out. The future actions towards you. I think they're going to be trying to keep this from you they're not going to tell you the truth the moon card came out i feel like you're going to end up finding out the truth about this person here mm -hmm. it's going to end up like breaking your heart because i see over here in the future your ten of cups is in reverse and you got king of pentacles underneath you so you're going to find this person is so unstable unstable they hurt you as they hurt you all the time. They're stubborn as hell. They won't change their ways. They're not financially stable. They betray you all the time. They make you feel restless as hell. And they cheat you out your money. Clarify the ten of cups. I feel like you're gonna be speaking to this person in a very negative way in the future. Cause you don't feel emotionally stable. And you're getting sick and tired of this damn player running in and out of your life. It's like now you know about the deception. And you're like, I'm tired of the deception. We got the Seven of Swords in reverse. You found the fuck out. Congratulations. All right. Once you find this stuff out, you're going to be like, all right, time to be logical. Let's get this sword out. Because I worked fucking hard. I'm sp working my ass off to make my money and giving my money to your ass. You fucking don't get You don't appreciate this shit. You're making me sad. I'm getting the fuck out of this sadness. Hmm. What's your advice? What's your advice? Stop working on it because it's a third party situation. It's like, I don't have patience for this shit anymore. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. For people who are totally single, all upright, so what's coming in for you? All right. Could be an Aries. Somebody's taking a leap of faith on you. Two of Cups. All right. Queen of Circles. So you have someone new coming in here. It's going to be really fucking stable. Queen of Pentacles. Upright. Nurturing. Um, we got two of Cups here. A, a soulmate connection here. And a leap of faith from this other person. Oh my gosh. You got it coming in here for you guys. Got it going on. What spiritual um, guidance are following this reading here? All right, we have karmic release. Move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. Yep, you're going to have to end up doing that with this person. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance with the sacred rhythm of life. Yeah. What am I going to say about that? Like, you know, take a chance on your talents and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That may make... You feel a little bit better. Express your driven passions. Sexual, sensual, and sexual powers are increasing. A lot of people are gonna find finding you sexy. <laughs> All right. What we got here. Sometimes crushing it means asking for help. So you might want to ask for your friends for help. Let's see. Only fools, only suckers, think they can do it all, all on their own. 
ask for help, then take the help. Let people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share in whatever kickassery you create. Every real baller has a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. This person keeps a lot of secrets from you, man, about this third party thing they got going on here. Make a choice and make it wisely. With that being said, call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right now. Or do what you want to do. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you guys back. See you, Libra.